Hi everyone, today's video is going to be another lip product try on. So we are like chugga lugga lugging our way down through this. Um, I don't know. Here, I can show y'all. Do you want to see? We have this many and this many. So we have two box lids left. Um, not including the 10 we're going to try today. So I don't know. Probably like four or five more of these videos. We're going to get this done and then I'm going to do a inventory. Um, because I know a lot of y'all are like, girl, I want to see your inventory. So I've thought about just making an inventory and just being like, I'm just going to do it. Um, knowing that I'm still decluttering, but I'm always decluttering my collection. So I don't know. I've been, I've been considering that option. I, I don't know. I think I like this look today. I don't know. We'll have to see how I'm feeling. Here's Kanga. She's doing very well. Her medicine is going well. The only thing is, uh, it is a diuretic, so she is tinkling all over the place. But we're gonna, she's never used puppy pads, and we're gonna get some puppy pads and see how she feels about those. Because we gotta keep her around forever and ever. She's just a tiny baby. Okay, so let's get into lip products. The first one is from the Lorac Beauty and the Beast collection. It's one of these lip glosses in the shade, it's Fresh Chic. It's one of the ones I actually know how to pronounce because a lot of them are French words and I'm not very familiar with French, though my maiden name is a French name. Fun fact, my great grandfather is from France. All right, so this is not super opaque. It's a very like milky kind of gloss. You also don't get very much out on the tube, like on your wand. You have to go in 3,000 times. Hmm. So I have been pairing lipsticks with eye looks recently um, for like some Instagram photos, cause you know, duh. Um, and I have found some things that like I kind of want that I haven't been keeping. So I think that's beneficial. This though, I mean, it's pretty. It is pretty. It's just not very opaque, but sometimes, I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep it, which is, is a little bit of a shock to me, um, maybe to you. But I think I'm gonna keep that. We're gonna see about that. What do you think, Kanga? You wanna keep it or not? She's the best. All right, the next one is a Bite Beauty lipstick. This is probably one of those amu amuse bouche lipsticks. This is in the shade Chai. Y'all, do y'all see that? This has like been swatched. And I've had it for years, no doubt about it. It smells a little bit like a crown, crayon. I grew up saying crown. Oh wow, this is like a very pretty rosy shade. Hmm. Super pigmented. It's not a shade chai, did I say that? If not, there you go. Hmm. I always get lip products on my chin. I don't know what I do. I think that's pretty, y'all. Yeah, we'll keep that. All right, two for two. There you go. I, I don't think I want this. I'm not gonna keep it, I'm not going to. I think I'm just keeping it for no reason. All right, Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Fudge. Yep. I remember really liking this. I think I got this um, from a subscriber, if I remember correctly. Oh, there's a hair. This, that's a Kanga hair. For sure, Kanga hair. You know, between me with very long hair, my husband has pretty long hair. I mean, well, that's not true. He's got like, Almost like surfer boy hair. I know, it's adorable. It's the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole life. And then Hippo and Kanga, we got hair everywhere in our
at home. This is like a very warm toned brown. It's incredibly opaque without being very thick. I remember I used to really like this shade. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. And see, I just don't see myself reaching for this when I have this, you know? I could be wrong, I could be wrong, I could regret that, but I don't think so. I don't want to have hundreds of lip products. Honestly, so some things, you know, I recently made a video about like, here's my niche on YouTube, and I, I'm fine not having very much of any of it. Well, I say that. If I didn't have very many eyeshadows, I'd probably be sad. I'd probably want more variety. But, as far as like, um, lip products, like, I think like, 20? I'd be fine with. This is the Lorac Beauty and the Beast lipstick in the shade. Oh, John told me how to pronounce this. I think it's Savoir Fier. I don't know, y'all. I really don't. I, I said Savor Fair one time, and he was like, babe. No, ma'am. All right, it, it's looking fine. It looks like it's going to be kind of orangey. I do like the formulation of these lipstick. If I remember correctly. Yeah, this is like a, a very warm toned peachy shade. Really nicely opaque. It's got like a little bit of a shine. I like that. I like it, we're gonna keep it. So today's makeup, I was just like sitting down. This is the Maybelline, Maybelline Shine Lipstick in the shade Undress Pink. I've never used this. Maybe I have, I don't know. I think I got this in an influencer and never used it. But yeah, I sat down and I was like, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my makeup. And so I just started putting things on my face. This is the Too Faced Sugar Pop palette. Old, old palette, but one that is in my Project 10 uses right now. Oh, this is a lot brighter than I was expecting. Oh, yes. I love that. This is a color I've been looking for. Not like all the way opaque, bright pink, but, and like this very light bright pink as opposed to like a deep hot pink. Yeah, I'm keeping that. And yeah, I had no idea what I was doing, so I just went to that palette, and I think I like it. I do think I like it. This is the NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in the shade... Hello? 05 Trickster. Oh yeah, these had the weird like Hubie bullets. Do y'all remember that? All right, nothing weird in there. I don't know, it smells fine. Let's see, let's see. You know I love a purple. Red, purple, pink. Mm. That is weird. So it's not matte. It's like a satin lipstick. Yeah, I would call this a satin. But it's like maybe one of those like powdery mattes. But it feels so creamy on the lips. I love that. We're keeping you NYX full throttle. Mm. Next, we have this CoverGirl lipstick in the shade Entwined. I remember I used to love this lipstick. Nope. That's gone bad. That smells sour. We're gonna get rid of that. I think I've tried some of those on and they've been disgusting. So that's a no from me, dog. All right. Um, we have this cute little Besame lipstick in the shade Bashful. So I really like these. These are this was like a set of seven. Oh, I did a um Aurora look, you know, Sleeping Beauty, where I was doing pink and blue, and you can see I got some blue lipstick on this one um that's not fungus that's just 
Just me trying to be edgy. All right. These lipsticks are so nice. And like, obviously the packaging is fabulous. Keeping that, keeping that, beautiful. All right. Loving that. This is a Mana Kadar Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain. This was definitely in like an Ipsy or something. <laughs> we got a little jewel on the top, how cute. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That is almost my lip color exactly. Like it's not that it's not pigmented, it's just like my lip color. Maybe ever, ever so slightly more mauve. I mean, it's pretty, but like it's my lip color. So why would I wear something that's my lip color when I could just not wear anything on my lips at all? It feels nice though. Hmm, it feels really nice. I might keep that, isn't that weird? Oh, I feel like I'm, I'm being duped here. But I like it, so I'm gonna keep that. All right, well, you know, most of these I get rid of more. Today we're keeping most of them, but you know, that's how it's working. All right, so next we have the Tarte Tartus Lip Paint in the shade Birthday Suit. I think this came with the Tarte um, Parte Blush. I remember liking this formulation. I had a few and I liked them, so let's see if that's still they smell peppermint -y. All I don't like that color. No, I don't like that color at all. All right, that's a no. I mean, I guess I'll leave it on because that's the last one, but that's a no. All right, so we're gonna keep seven. We're getting rid of the CoverGirl Lorac lip gloss and this Tarte lip paint that I have on. That's a no for me. And then we're gonna be keeping Lorac uh, lipstick, the Beauty and Beast lipstick. The Bite Beauty lipstick, this NYX lipstick, this uh, Anastasia lip gloss, this uh, Maybelline lipstick, this Manicadar lip gloss, and this Little Best May lipstick. So we, we got rid of three, keeping seven. You know, not the best percentage, but it's fine. I don't have to get rid of every single one every time. Um, but I'm happy with that. I'm happy knowing that I've got three things out that I don't want and seven things that I do still really want to play with. So, this lipstick's growing on me. What do y'all think? I feel like my blush is just like, something's going off. Like recently, not just today. Like I can't, what even blush did I use? Oh, I just, I'm not happy with my blush look ever. I don't think I have like a very nice cool tone blush. Like, this one's pretty cool tone. It's the shade underrated. I mean, that definitely looks cool tone, doesn't it? But, like, I don't know. I'm just not loving my blush choices at the moment. I need to figure that out. Maybe I should use some more eyeshadows as blush. I don't want to just go out and buy some more blush. That's not really what I'm here for. I swear it's gotten darker. Do we agree or am I crazy? 
I'm keeping this now. So I'm getting rid of two, keeping eight. That's what we're going to go with. All right, that's fine. You know, it's really fine. It's, it's, I don't have to get rid of everything. So there we go. That's what I have for y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Two things out of my collection. Happy to have them go. Um, that's all I have for y'all. Uh, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.